Ruben Oriana, Art 305. The transition to modern art in the late 19th and 20th century brought significant changes to the art world. Gone were the days of the Salon exhibition where a chosen few determined arts. The Industrial Revolution had allowed many artists to leave their studios and work outside in nature. All these changes combined allowed artists to express themselves from new perspectives. Two of the most influential artists of those eras were the Vincent van Gogh and Pablo Picasso. Both had significant influence on modern and art and future artists. Vincent van Gogh came towards the end of the Impressionist movement. A Dutch painter from a sundered Netherlands grew up in the country and studied to be a minister. Unfortunately, he had a lot of mental issues that prevented him from completing many of the tasks he desired. Having a connection with the art world in Paris, though, through his uncle and brother, he focused on his art, traveling through France, looking for inspiration in one of his early paintings, The Potato Eaters. He painted one of his only group paintings. The paintings take place in a cottage, home with a family of peasants, sitting around the table, eating potatoes and drinking coffee. He wanted to depict the harsh reality of country life. He gave the peasants harsh features showing them stru their struggles contrary to the prosperous cities the people in the country were still working hard to feed themselves and their families van gogh personally knew this family according to vincent van gogh's museum's new exhibition the painting has a lot more colors you first see the whole painting is in dark brown, earthy tones, with only a tiny light illuminating the features of the peasants. Van Gogh created much depth from, his single, from a single light source. The brushstrokes were detailed and with harsh highlights. Van Gogh used red and green or blue and orange to concrete the grayish tints he desired. He wanted to show a real way some people lived, compared to the painting that were considered beautiful by the art world. He spent a lot of time working on drawings, trying to perfect his figures. He considered this to be his best work. He had high expectations for his paintings and thought it would be his acceptance to Paris, to the Paris art world. Unfortunately, the painting was not accepted. It was considered a failure in the art world. After the post-impressionism artists came, the new artistic movement called Cubanism. The most known artist of the movement is Pablo Picasso. His painting, Les Mondes, painted in 1907, is considered the first modern painting. Picasso was a very, very talented painter from an early age. He could replicate the works of masters through his career. He transformed his style and was the co-creator of the Cubanism period. Pablo painted prolific paintings like the Guarnica, where he expressed his political views on the paint on the Spanish War. He, the painting I chose was the old guitarist, which he painted four years earlier in 1903. This was called the Picasso Blue Period, which lasted for about three years after the death of his friend Kazan. During this time, he suffered from a deep depression and he isolated himself from his friends. He decided to paint it with microchromatic tones of mostly blue, but sometimes green colors. The entire blue series of painting depicted the poor, ill, and cast of society. Even though his previous art had sold, Picasso was having a hard time selling any of these blue period paintings. Because of his depression, he understood the despair since he was struggling to make a living at this time. This particular painting had monochrom monochromatic blues with the guitar being the warm colors of brown. It has been said that Picasso found himself in a guitar player, but instead of the guitar, it was his paintings, the only one he had left in his life. The paintings show an old blind man dressed in deteriorated clothing, sitting cross-legged painting his guitar. His figures look like a skeleton figure with an awkward body position that makes him seem highly fragile. You can see the sadness and despair in his being. He used a distorted style which, with the top and bottom parts of the body in different perspectives. He was inspired by his fellow Spaniard 16th century painter El Greco, 
with the elongated limbs and angular posture. In recent years, he, the painting went through additional analysis and sh that showed additional hidden figures. There was a woman bent forward, a mother and child kneeling, and some animals on the right hand side of the canvas. Both paintings show the struggle of the ordinary person. The potato eater was still living in the country where you worked for your food. And that is all you had. In Picasso's The Old Guitarist, you see a poor man living in the streets with only his guitar as a way to make a living, having to depend on the empathy of strangers to survive. Both pictures show the vul vulnerar vulnerability of the artist and the compassion for the less fortunate. These were painted in dark times of their lives. Unfortunately, Van Gogh, his depression continued, with, which ended his, his death in 1980. Picasso was able to overcome his depression and went on to have a very successful and inspirational career. Both of their works are still some of the most recognizable art in history.